Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the ColourPop big box of Lippy Stick. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. I purchased mine on the ColourPop's website. It retails for $115, but I got it on sale for $99, and I believe that's currently the price right now. If you are interested in purchasing this lippy box, then definitely check it out on the ColourPop's website. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested. In addition to the lippy sticks, it did come with my receipt. It also came with this card, and then on the back it says, you light up my world. Here's what the ColourPop card looks like. It's purple with little butterflies, and then on the back it says, you light up my world. Here's a close-up of what the packaging looks like it says lippy sticks you do get 48 different lippies when you turn it around it does have stars all around I haven't even opened up the box I wanted to do it live on camera with you guys here are what all 48 lippy sticks looks like let's get started let me just pick one out here's what the lippy sticks look like here's a close-up of what the packaging looks like it says color pop lippy stick then we turn it over to the back it does tell you it was made in the usa and then distributed by color pop it's one gram or 0.035 ounces let's go ahead and open this up these lippies come in three different formulas they come in cream matte and matte x this formula contains vitamin E, mango, avocado, and shea butter for added comfort and moisture. The first shade is called Dream Date. Let's go ahead and swatch this. Very creamy. It's pigmented as well. Dream Date is described as a pale, warm nude. On the bottom, you have the shade name and the finish. I love how pigmented this shade is. It was definitely one swipe pigment. The next shade is Cookie. Cookie is a matte shade. Cookie is described as a warm brown nude shade. Again, it's super pigmented. It covered up my dark upper lip. And it's one swipe pigment. This shade is gorgeous. I can definitely see myself reaching for it. Next shade is called Slacker. Slacker is described as a soft salmon shade. Here's what Slacker looks like. I love how pigmented these are. I'm not a huge fan of this salmon shade. The next shade is called Oh Snap. Here's what Oh Snap looks like. Oh Snap is described as a muted pinky nude shade. We have another matte finish. This shade is called Parker. Parker is described as a mid-tone warm nude shade. Parker is a matte shade. The next shade is called At Twilight. At Twilight is described as a warm muted coral shade. At Twilight is a cream finish. Again, I'm not disappointed. These shades are very pigmented. They're creamy. The cream shades are very creamy. The matte shades aren't too matte. We haven't swatched any of the matte X finishes. I'm excited to see what that looks like. I'm not a huge fan of the shade in At Twilight. I don't see myself reaching for it. Next shade is called With the Band. Here's what with the band looks like. This is the matte X finish. I would actually prefer this finish. This is definitely a true matte. On the ColourPop's website, they describe the matte X as full coverage. It's a thin liquid lip status with a very unique lightweight and velvety feel. That's interesting. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Oh yeah, this is a different feel. The matte X finish reminds me of the ColourPop Blur finish. I don't really like
like the peachy corally shades, but I do like this finish. The next shade is called Topanga. Topanga is a cream finish. Topanga is described as a dusty coral. I can't get over how pigmented these lippy sticks are. We are done with the first row, let's move on to the second row. The next shade is called Gold Digger. This is the Matte X finish. Gold Digger is described as a warm rose shade. Here's what Gold Digger looks like. I love the Matte X finish. It's not too matte where it dries out your lip. It's that perfect velvety matte finish. The next shade is called Brink. Brink is a matte finish. It's described as a terracotta rose shade. The next shade is called Cami. Cami is that matte X finish and it's described as a cool tone mauve shade. The next shade is called Lumiere. Lumiere is described as a dusty mauve pink shade. The next shade is called Happy Thoughts. This is a matte finish. Happy Thoughts is described as a deep rosy mauve shade. The next shade is called Brian Babe. This is that matte X finish. I'm gonna try and squeeze the shade in Byron Babe here at the bottom. Byron Babe is described as a deep rose shade. I'm getting a little bit shiny. I've been here for a while. We swatched so many shades. The next shade is called Aftershock. Here's what Aftershock looks like. Since we are running out of space on the left side of my hand, I'm gonna be swatching on the right side. Aftershock is described as a classic pink shade, and this is that beautiful matte X finish. The next shade is called Little Tings. Little Tings is described as a mid-tone mauve pink shade. This is a cream finish. Now I'm gonna move on to the third row. The next shade is called Westy. Westy is described as a cool tone pink shade. The next shade is called Goodie Bag. Described as a vivid blue pink shade. Since we do have quite a bit of shades to still swatch, I'm gonna quickly go through them. That way this video won't be like 30 minutes long. The next shade we have is called Casanova. Casanova is described as a watermelon pink shade. It's a cream finish. The next shade is called Songbird. This is a matte finish. Songbird is described as a muted berry shade. The next shade is called Cherry Bomb. This is a matte finish. Cherry Bomb is described as a pink lemonade shade.
The next shade is called Are You Surreal? It's a matte finish. Are You Surreal is described as a hot pink shade. Next shade is called Runaway. This is that matte X finish. Runaway is described as a hot raspberry shade. The next shade is called Heart On. Heart On is described as a cool tone magenta shade and it's a matte finish. Moving on to the fourth row. The next shade is called I Heart This. I Heart This is described as a red fuchsia and it's a matte finish. The next shade is called Jam Sesh. Jam Sesh is a true blue red shade. It is a matte finish. The next shade is called Skywalking. Skywalking is described as a classic blue-red shade. I'm so sorry about the swatches. I cannot swatch with my left hand. Shade in Skywalking is a matte X finish. The next shade is called Trust Me. Trust Me is described as a vivid true red shade. This has a matte X finish. Next shade is called Love Life. Love Life is described as a brownish brick red shade. It has that matte X finish. The next shade is called Parachute. Parachute is described as a coral red shade and it has that matte X finish. Next shade is called Day Trip. I'm gonna try and squeeze the shade in Day Trip down here at the very bottom. Day Trip is described as a pink coral shade, a matte finish. Here are some of the swatches of the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I am gonna have to remove these because we have 17 more shades to go. Now we're gonna start with the fifth row. The first shade is called Who Run This? This is the matte the shade in Who Run This is described as a rusty red shade, a matte X finish. The next shade is called Ziggy. Ziggy is described as a dark terracotta shade and this is the matte X finish. The next shade is called Fly Fi. Fly Fi is that matte X formula. Fly Fi is described as a red terracotta shade. The next shade is called Goldie. Goldie is described as a rich brick red shade. And again, we have this matte X finish. The next shade is called Poison. Poison is described as a matte brick red shade. The next shade is called Brochette. Brochette is described as a matte deepened red shade. And it's of course a matte finish. The next shade is called Ellery. Ellery is described as a matte deep cranberry shade. And of course, it's a matte finish. The next shade is called Infinite Best. Infinite Best is described as a warm black cherry shade. This is a matte shade. We're almost done, we have one last row to go. The first shade is called Thousand Percent. Thousand Percent is a rich chocolate cherry shade and it's the matte X finish.
The next shade is called Grunge. Grunge is described as a mid-tone red-brown shade and it's a matte finish. The next shade is called Taurus. Taurus is described as a matte mid-tone yellow-brown shade. Of course, it's a matte finish. Next shade is called Chai Chai. Chai Chai is described as a true orange shade and it's a matte finish. The next shade is called Candy Paint. Candy Paint is a matte X finish described as a true terracotta shade. The next shade is called Girl Gang. Girl Gang is described as a muted terracotta rose shade. This is a matte finish. The next shade is called Capiche. Capiche is described as a dusty warm brown shade. It's a matte X finish. Next shade is called Daydream. Daydream is described as a plummy brown shade, and this is that matte X. The last shade is called Aquarius. Aquarius is described as a soft pinky nude shade. Aquarius is a cream finish. We did it you guys, we swatched all 48 shades in this collection. My final thoughts on the ColourPop Lippy Sticks is that I love the formula, I love each and every shade in this collection, except for the coral shades. I love the pigmentation, I just don't like how the corals looked on me. I would highly recommend you guys checking these out. Each Lippy Stick does retail for $6 on the ColourPop website, but if you do want to purchase this entire bundle, it retails for $99 and is still currently in stock on their website. My favorite finish from this collection is of course the Matte X finish, it's the most velvety smooth finish. The cream finish I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like I do have to reapply throughout my day whereas the matte X formula I don't have to reapply as much. I also did like the matte formula as well. If you guys did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.